that was me about 14 years ago, my senior year of high school. The amazing dance rock band Drums and Wires. Um, that was at Revolution in Fort Lauderdale, which that stage actually doesn't exist anymore. If you could please, pretty please, check out my Patreon. You could join the crew or the educated crew. Link in the description below. You guys have been really enjoying my videos, my quick little one minute drum lessons. I've been digging my music with my band, Basmati Vice. Vice. I just wanted to introduce myself because some of you in the comments have been asking, who are you? Why, why are you suddenly in my recommended? Introduce yourself, man. Well, here I am. My name's Eric and I play drums. It all started back in high school, well, middle school, I guess. Uh, played some snare drum here in this horrible, grainy footage. Played a lot of drum set in high school, as you saw with drums and wires footage. And then I played a lot of marching snare drum. Rudiments on rudiments on rudiments. All day long, every day. And that led to me going and getting a classical percussion degree from the University of North Florida. As well as being a member in the Cavaliers Front Ensemble in 2009. And then I was lazy in 2010, I didn't go back. And then in 2011, I was back. Yes, I know, I didn't march Mad World, damn it. Oh well, I still got to do this. <laughs> And in 09, I was the guy who said, hello. My love of music throughout college steered towards avant-garde percussion music. I was incredibly into John Cage. My senior recital started with as pretty music as I could, could find, like this marimba quartet. And then by the end, I was playing stuff like this. And I closed with 433. Full video of me playing 433, you can find it right here. I, I hope I put it there. I hope it's not over there. Or maybe just in the description below. Then I became a band director. Ooh. Was the associate band director for a high school in South Florida, where I taught a lot of drumline, a lot of jazz band, a lot of concert band, a lot of orchestra, a lot of percussion ensemble. And I got a little burnt out from that. So I went and started playing a lot more drum set around Fort Lauderdale. I recorded with the band Stereo Jewel. I had a little jazz combo. done a lot of freelance orchestral gigging like you can see in these different pictures I'm putting on the screen one is I got to play with Andre Bocelli Palm Beach Opera Orchestra when I was still in South Florida uh, this, that's me and my dad freepercussionlessons.com check him out he's also a percussionist if I didn't say that he's a, the principal timpanist for Palm Beach Opera Orchestra as well as numerous uh, different orchestras in the South Florida region <laughs> And then when I was done with that, decided, you know what? It's time to move to Philly. Then when I moved to Philly, I found Basmati Vice. Pre-COVID, we had a 
crowded, dirty concert in Boston. <laughs> COVID, we've done a lot of remote recordings like this with Andrew. I am a full-time uh, music director at a high school. I dabble in making lo-fi music like uh, this. Also find the full video here. I compose percussion music. Uh, this is a vibraphone marimba duet I'm working on. And if you've made it this far in the video, you're probably wondering, this dude must really like Canada. That's true. I am from the Great White North, moved to Florida then moved to Philly, and that's my story. Oh, and because of that, obviously the Flyers, I like playing hockey. I'm certainly no Drew Doughty. In fact, pretty sure he would say this to me. Why do you suck that hockey? And yeah, so that's me in a nutshell. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little get to know you video, and stay tuned for more drumming fun and any of the links i've posted throughout this if you could click all the different ones give everybody i tagged a subscribe there's a lot of a lot of mentors and other musicians i collaborate with and showing them any love and support is always a good idea all right have a good one <laughs>